Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shy, but you can call me Shadowcat as the channel name suggests. And today we're watching the finale of Arcane. Hello. Guys, we have reached the finale. I am so stupidly stoked to get into this episode. The last episode left off in a very precarious spot with seemingly powder being in Caitlyn's apartment. She has obviously been having a really rough time with the idea of Caitlyn, given the fact that she uh, is an enforcer. She is, you know, from Piltover. She is obviously cultivating a close relationship with Vi and yeah, powder does not feel good about it. Uh, I still kind of teeter between calling her powder and jinx. I guess I just want to believe that Jinx is still alive and well in there. Um, obviously, I don't think that everything is going to be resolved by the end of this season, especially given how the last episode just ended. Uh, Jace and Vi went to go uh, to basically disturb the supply chain of um, what's the thing called? Shimmer? In doing so, they made the startling yet probably not so shocking discovery that all of the people who worked there were all children. So uh, things are worse, I think, than they even realized. The last episode was really, 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 really good. And I've been just so excited to get into this finale. I'm a little bit bummed. That the season is coming to a close. I've been having so much fun with it and I really can't wait for season two whenever that comes around. I think it might be November of this year so I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for it and if you guys want me to react to that season as well just let me know. But of course we need to finish this season first. If you guys would like to watch my uncut reactions to all of these episodes that is available on my Patreon. We are also reacting to Lost and Buffy the Vampire Slayer over there. Those are just watch alongs for now, but if any of that sounds interesting to you, you can find me at patreon.com slash shadowcatreacts. But without further ado, let's get into the finale. I don't know if I have any predictions for how this episode's going to go. I don't know if it's gonna end on a high note or a low note. Mm. Yeah, he's probably feeling extremely guilty right now. You didn't have a choice. He knew what he was signing up for. Mm. We're done here. We haven't even scratched the surface. Silco's still out there. The next parents who get a message their kid isn't coming home. I don't even know where to take it. <sighs> You've always been a part of this. You just never yeah. had to look it in the eye. One dead kid? There's hundreds more people from thanks to Silco and thanks to people like you who stuck their heads in the dirt. She has a point. Take those off. Oh no. Are they gonna go up against each other? Make me. Oh. I can't let you leave with them. Then I guess you're gonna need to kill another treasure. Oh, this is so complicated because you definitely can see where both of them are coming from. Ooh. That was so tense. And it's hard for me to even say who I think is right, you know? I think... From Jace's perspective, it makes a lot of sense. You just got presented with the actual horrible realities of what is happening. Where from Vi, I guess she's a little bit a little bit desensitized to the violence that is happening. And understands that like things need to be done, you know? Ugh. It's a tough one. I'm pretty bummed that I'm like, after today, not going to be watching this show anymore. I've been really enjoying it. 
You're gonna do anything about that piece of shit that murdered my boy. Let me guess. Jinx will take care of it. Just like she's been taking care of everything else. We all mourn the loss of your son, Rene. At least we have the solace of knowing he died fighting for our cause. Instead of some petty... Did he though? Your cause is to sell Shimmer? Where is Jinx anyhow? Help her with the body. Oh, is she gonna turn on him? I think that she might. Mm hmm. Silco's days are numbered. If you can't even keep your own people happy, I don't know what you expect. <laughs> uh, this was really sad. Victor, I know this will probably never see the light of day, but watching how you work so tirelessly to make the world a better place, Aww. well, I couldn't forgive myself oh my God. if I didn't try. Everyone's got to do their part, right? They're all having a rough go at it right now. The way that it looks is actually giving me goosebumps right now. And it kind of, I don't know, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> from Jace. You really are fond of him. Better yet, march back to your ship and get the hell out of my city. You're in trouble, Mel. The man who killed your brother doesn't believe the score is settled. If there is a chance Hextech can be weaponized, we must have it. Piltover isn't your testing ground. <sighs> I've only accelerated the process you started. I wanted to protect the city from people like you. I can't so... believe you'd start a war just to cover your ass. I would yeah. set the world ablaze to protect our family. No. <laughs> I stopped being part of this family the moment you cast me out. Yeah. You can't kick somebody out and then use them. Because you weakened me. I couldn't endure the look in your eyes whenever I made the decisions, the necessary decisions to keep us safe. We need that weapon, Mel. Let the war unfold. Then you come home, take your place at my side. It's where you belong. No. If this is what it takes for you to bring your daughter back into the fold, ugh, that's just, it's not good enough. Is he ba basically back to where he started? Because he didn't have to use the cane for a while, right? Am I interrupting? Wow. This mirror is like the scene at the start of the season where Jace was thinking about jumping and now it's Victor. Oh, man. Things are rough right now. You have to destroy it. I know. The Hex Core. I can't do it. Mm. You have to. Please. Is it gonna let itself be destroyed? Without the Hex Core. <coughs> <coughs> Promise me. Okay. Okay. We lost ourselves. Lost our dream. In the pursuit of great. We failed to do good. I'm busy. Oh. 
When you took Vander out of play, I thought now here's the man who understands what it takes to run an enterprise. Always two steps ahead. But times loved you, old man. You screwed up, Silgo. <sighs> You're too young to remember what the Undercity was before it became an enterprise. We had nothing. You know what bore us through those times? Loyalty. Brothers and sisters back to back yeah, against but, whatever the world threw mm -mm, You need to facilitate, like, you need to grow loyalty between people. You can't just expect it. There was a Today reason people the were loyal die, to Vander. Silco. That's a risk I've known all my life. Oh. But I still believe in loyalty. Oh my god. So she didn't she didn't switch it up. Oh. Get out. Oh my god. Wow, she's still loyal to Vander even after all of the conflict that they've had this season. Perfect place for an ambush. And you without your hammer. Free trade routes, blanket amnesty, unrestricted access to the Hexgate sovereignty. You really think you're in a position to demand all this? You're afraid. I am afraid. Today I got a glimpse of what war between us might look like. Your yeah. people wouldn't stand a chance. I'm trying to save you from annihilation. You want peace. This is the price. <laughs> Return the gemstone. And I need Jinx. I don't She has to know. pay for what she's done. They weren't her crimes. She was working for me. <sighs> but we can't make a deal with a snake and cut Damn. off its head. We both That's have our so interesting. Get me Jinx, and I'll give you your nation of Zone. What's so interesting is that at the beginning of the show, when the enforcers were telling Vander that they needed somebody pretty much to fall for the crime that had happened like jinx was res jinx powder was responsible for that also you know like she is at the heart of so much that is happening and it's basically history is just repeating itself again astonishing you say all this came about in your own brief lifespan how were you able to accomplish so much so quickly it is very cool you'd be surprised what you can pull off when your life depends on it Fire it's not enough to give people what they need to survive. You have to give them what they need to live. Yeah. A thousand times I've imagined this moment. Never like this. All we ever wanted. Is that Vander? Like a statue of him? Oh, it all makes sense now, brother. Is there anything so undoing as a daughter? <sighs> oh. Oh no. Ugh. She seems like she's gonna be even worse now. I guess I should have maybe seen that coming. But was she not just at Catherine's? Caitlin's, sorry. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> 
It's so wild to think that there was a point where these two were on the same side of things. Mm. Well, your god needs work. <laughs> I wish I could say it gets easier, kiddo. What I can say is, she still needs you. They all do. So what do you say? Oh man. That's my girl. Since when can I do that? Ooh. The show is absolutely brutal, man. So go. Bravo, sis. I was about to say, I wonder when it comes to loyalty, who Powder's loyalty lies with more, whether that be Silico or Vi. They're right not to trust us. You're walking a fine line, Jace. With respect, I don't give a shit what any of you think of me anymore. Damn. <laughs> Jace has broken a peace with Silco. <sighs> in exchange for the Undercity's independence. What nonsense! We have seen I guess I wonder, maybe I'm missing something, but why are they so against the Undercity having their independence? What do they possibly gain from governing the Undercity? Like, are they using them for labor? And I'm not picking up on that. Like, I'm just... From my vantage point, it just seems like they love subjugating them. Are we alone? For now. We never got an Maybe. answer to what happened in that apartment. Silco thinks he made Jinx with... All his rants and it's hard one. Is she gonna say that Vi did it? But he didn't make Jinx. You did. Yeah. I'm sorry, Powder. I never meant to leave you. I spent so many nights in that shitty prison on that freezing floor, hungry, bloody, counting the hours. The only thing, the only thing that kept me going was the thought of getting back to you. Are we still sisters? Nothing is ever going to change that. I always knew you'd come back. What's going on? Here he stabbed Vander in the back, all the time saying you abandoned me when he knew the truth. Mm. Liar. Hmm. We're missing someone. Oh man. <laughs> what is this gonna be? No, 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 no! Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I paid your girlfriend a visit this morning. Okay. What did you do? I made her a snack. No! 
Sheesh. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you just might be, Powder. You just might be. Oh. Powder! Leave her out of this! I mean, better alternative to her head being served up on a platter. But still not great. That's your choice, really. <sighs> it could go away. Please. Send her on her way and... Oh my god. And you can have powder back. But it wouldn't even be powder. I can't. Too much has happened. No! Powder, listen. We, we can just go. We'll leave and never come back. We'll put this behind us. You'll never have to see him again, Powder. Her name is Jinx. She's lying. You'll be with her a day before she realizes you aren't that girl anymore and turns her back on you. you this psychological warfare is too much. <laughs> Uh, offered me everything. Independence, a seat at the table. All in return for you. They can all burn. Everyone betrays us, Jinx. Vander. Her. You're my daughter. I'll never forsake you. Drop the gun! Oh my god, this is this is this is such a nightmare. Please. No, stop! <sighs> Drop the gun. Wait! She's my sister. Fine. Uh, She's too far gone. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't even know what the right option here is. Of course, I would love it if we could all just fucking kumbaya into the sunset. <laughs> Ooh! This animation is gorgeous. It's such a good visual representation of what she is going through. Oh. 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 No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never would have given you to them. Not for anything. <sighs> Unfortunately, I do believe him. But, like, look what he's done to her. She can say that it was vile she wants, but... Powder? We'll be okay. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, she's sitting in the Jinx chair. I thought maybe you could love me like you used to. Even though I'm different. You change too. So here's to the new us. I am a monster you created. Worst of all, and I needed you more. What is she doing? Talus's proposal for peace.
again, I feel like this really parallels when everything happened with Vander and how everything, you know, seemed to be going well. Oh my god. As I was just saying, I feel like that like final sequence mirrored a lot what happened in episode three where things seemed to be going well at the final moment only for them to get absolutely completely derailed by powder. You know, I think that this episode had a lot of really great parallel moments. You know, you had the moment with uh, Jace and Victor, about Victor obviously feeling extremely guilty for what had just happened and thinking about ending it all, which is very much where he found Jace after um, the whole thing happened in his apartment. Uh, obviously that final moment was very much a parallel. The fact that the council wanted Jinx in this episode and they felt like they needed her to be turned in and she was the one who was kind of at the heart of all of the issues that they were facing. And that is what happened in the flashback, albeit not so consciously. Like, I don't think that she knew what she was stepping into when she did it, you know? Um, but it was the same thing where the enforcers were saying to Vander that they needed someone for the events that had just unfolded in Jace's apartment and Powder was the reason that the explosion had happened. Both Vander and Silco too, like, did not want to give her up. Like, a constant in the show is true. Like, as much as Powder is really struggling, a constant in the show has been how much people, the people around her, really do care for her. This was a really good finale episode. I think that it was really good at creating a lot of intrigue for the next season. <sighs> it was just such a good place to end it off on. And I really am so excited for season two. I was very much blown away from this show as much. I think that I think that you guys can tell from the first frame that I was like enthralled by the animation. I thought it was so beautiful. I love how they were able to use their animation to uh, depict what was going on in people's heads to sort of show other perspectives. This is that's the thing that I really love and appreciate about animation. And that is the thing that whenever a live action version of a show gets made, I don't know if this is a bold statement, but I think that I'm yet to have a live action version of a cartoon show that I think measures up in any way to the animated show because there's just so much storytelling being told through animation and I I just it, it like it blows my mind that that making things live action is as profitable as it is you know I'm not saying all live action um, remakes suck but I'm saying in my opinion they have always been lesser because the animation brings so much texture to the show so yeah i've loved it from the beginning from an animation perspective but also from a story perspective of course it's so funny to think about <laughs> my reactions now because i had absolutely like i was just such a sweet summer child at the beginning of this i had absolutely no idea where this show was headed like i had no idea where this show was headed. And while I don't think a predictable show is a bad show, I think that there is something so much fun about watching a show or a movie or just anything that you have no idea where it's headed. And I had no idea where this show was headed 90% of the time. Like it's, I had so many theories. I had so many theories and I feel like none of them came to pass because 
I mean, and, the, you know, the good thing, too, it's not even just about, like, subverting expectations. It's that the things that happened made perfect sense. When you really, like, hold them up to scrutiny, it's not like things were just happening to happen. They happened because they made sense. And still, I didn't see it coming. And so that's just, to me, um, a great marker of a show because it really can keep you on your toes. This was such a fun show. I mean, fun is probably not the best way to describe it because a lot of the things that happened were very harrowing, very hard emotionally. Um, but I thought that they really hit it out of the park for what I assumed that they were going for. And I am excited. I'm really excited for season two. That was a great finale, a great place to leave it. And I cannot wait to pick it up with season two whenever that comes out, which I think it's November this year. It is currently March 18th when I'm watching this, so November is a little bit of a ways off, but um, whenever it's fin or whenever it comes out, I will be there to watch it. If you guys want me to react to it, of course, uh, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this show with me. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my reactions to it and seeing all of my bad takes, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.